Good morning, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry. Let's be correct here. And uh, thanks for tuning in to Hide and Seek Media. This is Car Rides with Carl. This is a series that I do where, um, you know, I'm driving to work in the morning or, or on my way home. Anytime I'm in the car and I got an idea running through my head or whatever, this is the series that I'm going to just lay it out there and then I may run through it in another video on another you know another video series like in my new segments or whatever and I may debunk my whole theory here but I want to be able to get it out here get it out on you know and that way I don't forget it I don't lose it and people can share their opinions and you know and their thoughts on what I've got to, what I'm thinking and what I'm you know got to say so that's the uh, you know thanks for tuning in again if uh, you like what you see, make sure to smash that like button and the subscribe button and uh, hit that notification bell anytime you get no so that you get notified anytime I put up a video. Uh, but let's get into this. So, um, basically this video, oh man, they shut this 7-Eleven all the way down. Damn. Alright, sorry, got a little sidetracked there. Alright, so... Watching the news that I watch um, last night, because I don't watch mainstream media news, because it's all full of lies and conjecture, and, and I just don't trust it anymore. I don't trust mainstream media at all. Newspapers, TV shows, even my local TV channels, okay, because they're affiliates of those mainstream media channels, I don't trust them. Even if they are, you know, 100% Oklahoman. When, even if they are 100% conservative, they'll still report the news that CBS or NBC or ABC tells them to report because they don't want to lose their job. I find that disgusting. You know, here in Oklahoma City, they have mask mandates. But this veil, this, this little net gator that's as thin as pantyhose is an acceptable face mask. If this is an acceptable face mask, then I'm not wearing one. I wear this just to make people happy and comfortable. But I don't put it on my face because your health is not my responsibility. Simple as that. You don't want to get sick? Stay the fuck away from me if you don't if you don't you don't like that I'm not wearing a mask. Stay away from me simple as that. I'll stay away from you, you stay away from me. But your health is not my responsibility. Just like my health is not your responsibility. I shouldn't be responsible to pay for medical bills for you because you decided to eat and become overweight and get obese and you know end up with diabetes. That's not my fault. I shouldn't have to pay for that and I don't. That's why we don't have socialized medicine in this country. We have, because in this country, individuality and individual responsibility is what this entire country was founded on. And I'm sick and tired of these draconian rules being put in place, trying to keep us in line, trying to smash the will of the people. Sorry, my camera mount here is a little little uh, loose but that's all this is that's all these mask orders and mandates and and you know stay at home orders and all that that's all it is it's a way to keep the sheep in the corral well be a black sheep break down the fence of the corral stop abiding by these unconstitutional laws that these governors and mayors are instituting that they don't have any right to institute. And for those of you who don't know or understand the Constitution, I suggest you go read it. There's plenty of websites out there who break down the Constitution and what it's about and what each amendment means
but there will be a video coming out shortly in my new segment channel or in my new segments where I talk about event 201 and the people that participated in it and how they're linked to Biden and Harris and the Obama administration and then it's funny not one of them is linked to the Trump administration or to any conservative that I can find but that right now is still I'm still investigating this um, and like I said in a day or two I will have another video um, about the 201 convention and how I believe that the event 201 was basically a symposium to see what would happen if they released a deadly virus upon the world and what the outcome would be. And what they found was the they the virus that they chose in their in their scenario was too deadly. It killed too many people too fast. <clears throat> so hey, don't worry. We have a and I think they did that on purpose because if you look, Bill Gates, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation or whatever is part of the Event 201. And they're the ones who, you know, Bill Gates and Microsoft are the ones who built the Wuhan research facility where the corona, where COVID-19 was developed and accidentally released from. So if they have ties to that facility and they were participating in Event 201, That's kind of odd in itself right there. Also, China was part of this Event 201 thing. And now it's coming out that China and Canada have um, been sharing military training, whatever. So, if you don't believe the New World Order is, is a real thing and that there is a group of people conspiring to make that happen, then you are sadly mistaken. Your head has been stuck so far down in the sand, I, I don't know that we can pull it out. How do you not see it now? How do you not see all the little fingers that are connected together? I mean, Event 201 happens in October. COVID hits in December. They can't get you, they can't tell you what it is, even though they developed this, okay, it's not like a natural coronavirus, okay? This coronavirus was developed in that lab, okay? And if you develop a virus, you should be able to figure out how to come back. But then they tell you masks don't work, but then a few months later, masks do work. Oh, oh, we're just going to shut down for two weeks to, to flatten the curve, and here we are, 12 months later, and we're still being locked down. We're still being forced to wear masks. You know. We're still being forced to, to try and survive under these draconian rules. Keeping everything shut down. Keeping all these businesses shut down. Small businesses going under left and right. Which is exactly what they want. They want everybody to dependent on large corporations. Why? So when the global economy happens, so when they, they put all, push all this into one global economy, every, you know, everybody's like, oh, okay, it's, I've already shop all, I already shop at Walmart, so it's not a big deal that this is the only place I can shop now. But that's where we're headed if we continue on down this path. Americans need to stand up, fight for their individuality, fight for their rights, fight for their citizenship, it's, it's time we fight back. It's time we stand up and take our country back on what it was founded on. Hard work, individuality, personal responsibility. These are all things lacking in today's youth. And 
as a country, damn it, this thing is pissing me off. Oh. As Americans, we need to stand up against this kind of tyranny. We need to, right now we're trying to do it with our voice in the courts. If that doesn't happen, Americans need to prepare, be prepared to take to the streets. I'm not calling for violence, but I'm calling that we take to the streets. If 74 million Americans voted for Donald Trump, then I'm pretty sure there could be a coordinated 74 million American holdout. Okay? A lot of these people that voted for Trump, like myself, and many people that I know, we're the backbone of this country right now. All of the essential workers I know are Trump supporters. What happens if we all decide we ain't coming to work? 74 million Americans said, you know what? This is how you want your country? Fine. You can have it. And we all just stopped producing. It's until Donald Trump is named the president like he should be. You want to talk about a massive country strike? Right now you've got 17 states along with Texas. So 18 states filing a lawsuit against Georgia, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin for the fraudulent elections they ran in their states. And as a result, gave electoral votes to Joe Biden to try and make him the president. And essentially making Kamala Harris the president because Joe Biden's a fool. And within six months, they're going to have him removed from office with the 25th Amendment. He already knows it's going to happen because he's already said it. Joe Biden said in an interview that if him and Kamala Harris have a disagreement on a moral gr on moral grounds or or whatever, and they, they can't seem to come to a, a resolution, then he'll develop a, a virus or disease and resign. He's already saying he's going to make Kamala Harris the president. He, this is already in his mind that this is what he's going to do. If you people who voted for this man believe that that's who you voted for, you're a fucking moron. And I'm probably going to get censored or whatever because I'm dropping F-bombs here. So I'm going to try to keep that as, try to keep it as PG as I can. But come on, people. I watched... Uh, the Tim Cast IRL podcast the night before last. And I can't remember the woman's name because I really wasn't interested in hearing what she had to say. Once I heard that she she said on this podcast, and I can't remember her name, go back and look at it, it was two days ago, um, Tim Cast IRL. Uh, she's, a, she's a Democrat, okay? And what she calls a liberal, all right, or, or the left. She said that she voted for Joe Biden, but could not defend her actions or Joe Biden. And then she voted against Donald Trump for policy reasons. For policy reasons. Okay, so what policy? The, um, the, uh, the, 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 First Step Act, huh? Does that policy bother you? You know, releasing um, uh, nonviolent criminals from jail who got, you know, sentences that were way too bad? What about the uh, platinum deal, huh? Uh, I bet that's, that probably goes against your, your deal too about giving African American people, you know, the opportunity to, to, to rise up. What about opportunity zones? Oh, I bet, I bet that's a policy you fucking against too, huh? Because uh, we don't want those black people to become become independent on their own. We want them dependent on our party. So they'll keep voting for us and we'll keep doing nothing for them. 
I could not believe it. I could not, I could not, and I and I love watching Tim, right? Because he has some pretty good guests on there, and Tim's got some really good insights. He is, a, like he says, a milk toast fence center. Um, I'm not that guy. I, I pick a side. Um, well, I, I stick to my beliefs, right? And I firmly believe in almost everything that Donald Trump is doing for this country. And I believe that because he's been saying that for 40 years. For almost 40 years, Donald Trump has been saying the exact things that needed to happen in this country. And then for 40 years, or for, sorry, for 35 years, or, you know, 30 plus years, Donald Trump sat back and watched elected official after elected official after president after president after senators and senators and congressmen elected over and over by the American people. And nothing got fixed. It only got worse. We were getting put into more and the worst trade deals. We were getting taken advantage of by all these different countries that we were providing support and protection for. And millions of Americans like myself were tired of being the country that bowed and cowtails to every other country because we're afraid of hurting somebody's feelings. You know what? Grow some thick skin. This is America. We do things our way and if you don't like it, you don't have to be friends with us. But just remember, you don't want to pick a fight with the strongest country in the world. And you sure as hell don't want to pick a fight with the most determined people in the world. Americans are the most determined people to keep their freedom. There will be an uprising if Joe Biden is not, is <clears throat> inaugurated as president. I promise you that. There will be millions of Americans who take to the streets that say, we will not abide by any law that Joe Biden and his presidency puts into effect. We do not recognize him as a, as a valid president, so he is not our commander-in-chief and that be that and that's how this is going to play out in the end if you've got a different opinion leave it in the comments I, uh, I'll try to get through the, uh, as many as I can and come back and check this channel because you will get a response if I feel you deem one so uh, thanks for watching again if you liked my video uh, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button so you you know so you can and the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. Um, but make sure to leave a comment too if you got something to say because I really want to respond to people you know who think outside of my my lane. Uh, so please make sure you comment, smash that like button, smash the subscribe the subscribe button, and a notification bell. And uh, tune in again because I will have more videos. Peace.